Hello, welcome to Five Facts with Danny. That's me, I'm Danny. And it's almost Halloween, so I wanted to find a very spooky creature to feature for this episode of Five Facts. So, I was scrolling through iNaturalist, as you do, looking at the common species that can be seen here in Milwaukee, and lo and behold, I found a spider species that has the nickname of the pumpkin spider. So, how could I not? Now there are 47,000 species of spiders worldwide, and there's more than one that has the nickname of the pumpkin spider. So the one that we're focusing on today has the scientific name Arrhenius diadematus. It's a whole arctic species, meaning that it can be found in Europe, Asia, or North America. So let's get started, let's learn about it. Here we go. Five facts about the pumpkin spider. Let's do it. Fact number one, the pumpkin spider gets that nickname both because of the time of year it's most active and because of its appearance. So time of year it's most active is right now. So right around Halloween, when we all put our beautiful pumpkins out on the front porch. The appearance of the pumpkin spider does look kind of debatably pumpkin-y. So they typically will have a thorax and abdomen that range in color from light yellow all the way to brown, but there's a lot of orange in that spectrum there, so that makes sense. However, the key feature you wanna look for if you're trying to identify whether a spider you see is a pumpkin spider or not are these mottled markings on the abdomen. So my picture doesn't do great justice here, but all pumpkin spiders are gonna have these white mottled spots on their back, and almost always you'll be able to find a cross formation towards the top of the abdomen there. That's your key distinctive feature. That's how you know you found yourself a pumpkin spider. Fact number two, pumpkin spiders belong to a group of spiders known as the orb weavers. Now orb weavers make up about 25% of all the spider species in the world. And one of their most distinctive features is their orb-like webs. They build these beautiful, large webs Typically there are lots and lots of strands coming out of the center and then they move around and, and use their threads to go all the way around making this nice big spiral. Our pumpkin spiders usually will go around the circle 30 to 40 times. Now, I got tired just making 10 rotations on my little drawing here and imagine if you were not only drawing the web but like creating the thread that you needed to create that web. It's a pretty impressive feat to build these awesome webs. Now they use their web to catch their prey. They're specifically going for flies, aphids, beetles, bugs that are going to fly into the web and not see it. Fact number three, pumpkin spiders are extremely dangerous to bugs, not so for humans. So, like I said, when the bug hits the web and the pumpkin spider goes out to eat its prey, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna bite its prey. That bite injects a little bit of venom into the prey's body and the enzyme in there begins to liquefy their internal organs and begins the process of making that bug nice and easily digestible for the spider. So. A bite from a pumpkin spider, bad news if you are a fly or a beetle or one of those prey items. However, for humans, there are very, very few instances of humans being bitten by pumpkin spiders. And even if so, at absolute worst, you'd get a little bit of localized swelling, a little bit of a sting, maybe akin to a bee sting. But otherwise, pumpkin spiders are not aggressive. They are always, always, always going to try and go the other way. They're only going to bite humans as a last resort. Fact number four. Pumpkin spiders believe in the concept of recycling. Who would have thunk? So, every night at the end of the day, they are gonna take that beautiful web that they built and they're gonna eat it. And they're gonna recycle the proteins and water in their body and use those proteins and water the next day to build a brand new web. The reason being that when that prey, when those insects get caught in the web, they're usually causing a lot of destruction. And so the web isn't gonna be as nice, as good at catching prey. And so at the end of the day, they eat their web, recycle those materials, and the next day, begin the process anew. And fact number five, check this out. You've probably heard that in a lot of spider species, the female will eat the male when they're done mating. And the pumpkin spiders, they're no exception. So the females are a little bit larger than the males, and it has been documented that typically after they're done mating, the female will eat the male in its entirety. The same way that they eat their other prey, wrap it up in the silk, carry it off, consume it. Now this is the only noted instance of cannibalism happening in this species. So they're not just going around eating others of their species, it only happens after they've mated. And I was really curious about this. I was wondering, what is the purpose? Why does the female eat the male after they're done mating? What is that accomplishing? And the agreement among scientists seems to be that the reason she does it is because she can. The male 
has nutrients that she can benefit from and she's done mating with him so she doesn't need him anymore and so might as well take advantage of that snack of that delicious meal that's right there for her so there you go there's a little spooky something to give you nightmares from this halloween episode of five facts and so there you have it our five facts about the pumpkin spider Pumpkin spiders are extremely versatile. They can be found in cities, they can be found in the country, they can be found inside homes, outside homes, they can be found all over the place. So keep an eye out for spiders with that distinctive white cross on the back. And if you see one, take a moment to appreciate them. Again, no need to be scared. They're pretty harmless and they're just living their best life. So find those pumpkin spiders. I hope you have a very happy Halloween and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.